Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is the second video in this engine rebuild series. We're working on a 2008 Chevy Cobalt. In the last video, we pulled the engine out. Now this video, the teardown of the engine and the rebuild of the engine applies not only to Cobalt, but any vehicle that Chevy used this 2.2 liter Ecotec in. I'm not 100% sure all the years that this engine was used, but they're pretty much all the same. So 2.2 liter Ecotec, this is not VVT, but that shouldn't really matter whether it's variable valve timing or not. The teardown and rebuild should be the same. All right, let's get cracking. Now, pretty much in this video, we're just tearing everything down. So not much to it, just pulling off bolts, pulling off components. We're gonna put it on an engine stand first. That'll give us perfect access. We can roll the engine upside down, do everything we need to do with it. Now, there are only a couple of bolts that need to be taken off in a certain pattern. So I will swipe the screen so you can see those. Before we put the engine stand on, I forgot. We have to take the flywheel off. It's just easier to take it off now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. Let's see if there are 15. They are 17 millimeter. All right, so I'm just gonna start dismantling stuff. It'll mostly be time-lapse, unless there's something that's extra important to show you. I'll be sure to pause, show you that. Otherwise, it's just unbolting. Now we have new pistons and connecting rods that we're putting back in this engine. If you do not, just make sure you mark which one is cylinder one, two, three, and four, and each cap goes to a specific rod. So you don't wanna get them mixed up.
Well, that's it. We are all tore down. Sweet. We got the engine tore down to its itty bitties. Now we're going to take the major components like the head, the block to the machine shop. We're going to let them hone out the block, resurface the head, clean it all up really good, put everything through the parts washer so it looks perfect when we get it back like a brand new engine. Now we are going to be replacing the valve seals ourselves. This requires a special tool to do this. If you don't have the special tool or don't want to purchase the special tool, go ahead and have the machine shop do that for you. They have all the equipment there to do that for you. Also, if your cylinder walls are super scored for whatever reason, maybe it overheated, ran out of oil or whatever, you can even have them bore it out. They can bore out oversize just to the next size, to whatever that next size is. Then you buy the pistons according to that size. So pistons rings according to that new size, if you need it. Now, if you are gonna be replacing the valve seals yourself, I'll run through that really simple. It just requires that special tool. All right, well that wraps up this video. Stay tuned to video number three when we get it all back from the machine shop and we start assembling it. Very technical, precise stuff that we need to do on the assembly. So it will be detailed and maybe a little longer than these videos. All right, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, see you on the next one.